We want to get our schools open. We want to get them open quickly, beautifully in the fall. As you know, uh, this is a disease that's a horrible disease, but young people do extraordinarily well. CDC will be issuing new guidance uh, next week, uh, uh, part of a five-part uh, series of uh, recommendations. We don't want uh, federal guidance to be uh, a substitute uh, for state and local laws and rules and guidance. But I want to make it very clear that what is not the intent of CDC's guidelines is to be used as a rationale to keep schools closed. I had 39 sixth graders one year in my tiny little classroom with one window. That was not healthy before the pandemic. And what I hear the President of the United States saying is just open the doors, crowd those kids back in there. My classroom was a germ factory. I knew that I was going to catch someone's cold every year. This is different. This is a virus that kills people. To say that it's some kind of politics that people are playing is, is, is so insulting. To say that teachers or Joe Biden has some need to hurt kids. What we're asking for is the same consideration they gave Shake Shack. You know, when, when, when a business was uh, looking at laying off workers, when a business was saying, how do we keep our business open? Uh, Republicans and Democrats, the same thing by on, threw money at them. Why isn't anyone talking about the resources that we're going to need to open schools safely? I see where Harvard announced that they're closing for the season or for the year. I think it's ridiculous. I think it's an easy way out. And I think they ought to be ashamed of themselves. You want to know the truth. Ultimately, it's not a matter of if schools should reopen. It's simply a matter of how. They must fully open and they must be fully operational. And how that happens is best left to education and community leaders.